Uh, we could use this moment to convince Plug the, the people book. on the who aren't watching the stream to like, oh, yes, follow us, and subscribe. Ads, yeah, if you can't see ads, let us know by subscribing. Yeah, <laughs> and and also to take a look at our link tree, uh, uh, Dreadlore, or to take a look at our. Patreon at Dreadlore because you wouldn't know it, but all these little magic buttons and and space effects, uh, they don't come free or cheap, <laughs> or maybe they do. <laughs> uh, so we we're definitely happy that you guys are here, and uh, we uh, absolutely think that. Bill is good at mukbanging, so we I'm wanted so to I'm so good at mukbanging. I'm really good at it. I'm eating the the lemon sushi. It's like it's like lemon on top of a tuna, spicy tuna roll. Mm. It actually kind of works. Although I'll say I did take the, I took the lemons off, but you can still kind of taste them. I spent two hundred and fifty dollars on sushi last night. Oh my god. <laughs> we, definitely, we need we need to like subscribe and patreon and all that that, that was that was That's a big a event my partner had a birthday so i uh i took i took him out i took her out to sushi and um and dropped the load <laughs> and, and drop the load drop the load you gotta you gotta do the right thing uh gotta... harry buncombe says i always come for free <laughs> Good. Excuse me while I eat this sushi. Mm. Mm. The book is really cool. I think I actually have a copy of it right here. I can dig it out for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's. It looks like this, and I think it's it's Lulu Press or some kind of press impress. Yep um that you can get it it comes with a really great hardcover but like there's all kinds of art and design and just endless amounts of really great storytelling objects and such inside of it like i i think it is a great investment a good a good way to find inspiration and it's dark i mean the horror setting is really wonderful you want to do cthulhu you want to do space you want to do uh you know old-timey elves and dwarves and and magic it's got all of the things and a setting uh that will match that stuff in place it's not exactly magic as as you and i think of magic but it is it's it's really a wonderful setting where you can it's technology of magic, but you could still throw a fireball. Uh, fireball. It's just the way you develop that and thread that fireball into your character and the story. And it's not all about rolling dice. You don't have to roll to win. <laughs> and it's really, it's really accessible for people. You don't have to pay a troll and go across a bridge, walk through a maze, and then up a mountain to get it. And as much as I love I the was... Transformers, I'm going to say that uh, it's not owned by Hasbro. Like, this is a mom and pop, I guess, or a pop. It's just a pop. It's, it's, mom a, pop. And it's pop. a pop and pop. <laughs> mom and pop. A pop and pop. This is a pop. A pop and pop. Just pop. Uh, <laughs> a, just a pop uh, store. I mean, I'm testimonially, just... from somebody that is thought of tabletops as unaccessible, 
uh, I really want to piggyback on the fact that the system is more about being able to explain yourself and improvise so actors really thrive in the system. It's not always about the stats and about the dice. It's it's about knowing the system and playing the game. And I love that. I paid everyone to say these things, by the way. And he did not. There was nobody was paid. I didn't pay nobody, anybody. Literally <laughs> nobody was paid <laughs> for any of this. And if you min max, if you min max this um if you min max your character sheet, squeeze as many stats out of it as possible. You better squeeze. You better squeeze. Yeah. If you if you if you go through the trouble to do that, um you'll probably get a bunch of derangements. Yeah, Drizzle, I didn't hear you praise my fucking book. So what's going on? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? How many There's counting too many do we get people. exactly? <laughs> yeah. yeah, hold up. Pause. See, this the is why me and Dolby get along, because I'm not the brains here. Dolby's like, wait a tick. Where's my pips, motherfucker? <laughs> All right, so everyone gets a pip, but Drizzle. <laughs> yeah, bitch. I'm kidding, Drizzle. You get one, too. I'm, I'm waiting to drop the, the load You're on the mod. Here. You're on the mod, baby. Oh, uh, drop yeah. the load, Drizzle. Drop the load. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. You being invested in the story and all that good stuff. Okay, let's play. So I'd like to drop a pip. Yep, what are you going to pip in? Uh, pip in? Uh, b- well, I'm, maybe not. I, I feel pip-in. like I'm just kidding. I'm going to wait to drop a pip, but I want to... Uh, are we in the montage? Yeah, you're in the montage. Okay. I would like to t- uh, pull uh, each um, Burgess and and private skip trace and uh private suicide yep so all of the that. player private characters suicide oh my god that's you get a pip <laughs> i'm gonna drop the load and uh <laughs> Jesus. just gonna hold on to that <laughs> oh man that's good clip that yep yeah. so uh all the pcs are together um since you've uh dropped a pip is this before or after the rest of everyone has gone to cryo sleep? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure. Sleepy? I'm gonna make sure that the only people that aren't in cryo sleep, if the pilot has to do whatever they need to do, like that, we're pretty much the last ones that go into cryo. So I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna take you into that montage encounter, and then you can have the moment. Um, we will say that you uh that josh lieutenant josh uh deergan takes the ship out um you see neptune station recede into the void of space and neptune with it as you guys <clears throat> head out toward where the orbit of pluto is um you're on thrusters so you have uh thrust gravity as in you're you're accelerating, so you 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 have the gravity from acceleration. These are your petre fusion drives that that are getting you here, and you're relatively moving, or you're moving relatively slow. As Josh is doing all this, a few hours go by. He gets you into position. There's a few communique Dolby with um, that Josh puts you in for uh, it's a. Uh, one of the, it's not deep space, but outer solar system outposts. And you use your security clearance um, that Lieutenant Calabash gave you to get to requisition a Mark IV gravity drive. Josh lines it up as you guys are getting prepared. Engineering, uh, Dole, um, preps the cryo beds. And the first down is Alice Brick. The sergeant's next. Um, Dole goes down. He sets it to automated, and uh, Alfred has control of doing this. Um, Gravity drive is placed on Q, and Alfred, when you guys are in cryosleep, will hit the go for the gravity drive to to rock and roll. Everyone is down, except for you guys. Nice. Nice. I'm going to... And the cat. Uh, yeah. 
I'm going to thank, um, I'm going to thank Alfred for a smooth, uh, trip ahead and no problem, Lieutenant. Uh, I'm going to suggest Alfred that now that you're one of, one of us, one of the team, um, please keep, indeed, I have an ally. Mm. Yeah. Please keep this conversation that we're having just amongst us. Uh, how's everybody doing? I bet I've been acting strange, uh, for the last, uh, few weeks, and I appreciate, uh, everyone kind of, I take a, a swig out of, out of my flask, and I appreciate everybody staying here for the last minute, and I debrief them fully on, on... What do you say to them? ...the mission at hand. I, I'd say that we're on the way to Terra Nova... Yes. Because not everybody actually knows what's yeah. going on. And it's Novus Prime. On. Or Novus Prime. I don't know where I'm getting Terra Nova. That has got to be from some it, weird... It, no, it ris originally was Novus Terra. Because yeah. that's what I have it in the notes. Yep. And that's yeah, no, it Novus it, Terra is yep. is what where where what I have. <clears throat> uh, you know, it, it was... There's some tourism there. It's <laughs> this... Yeah, <laughs> it's a fully apparently a fully oxygenated, um, oxygenated place. One of the few things that I'm a little bit worried about is um, how they're going to receive us. There was a revolution on this planet, um, maybe ten years ago. I think is when it happened. Is that when it happened? Or yes, that, sir. Um where some fascist rebels which i you know i read their dossier i thought they were pretty cool um they they were there's a confucius leader and and a, another leader Mor moriarte th that i think they were an assistant to the former leader so i mean they they kind of get what's going on here uh and they've got an idealist named axel that may be a problem um for for no other reason that we really just we don't need the freak thinking thing going along. We just need them to sign up on on making sure that we uh, honestly they could do whatever they want. Uh, the SSA doesn't care. We just need them to be uh, to send us materials, and they need to mine the mines. And as long as they're playing the game, they can lead however they want. The SSA does not care. We just need them to understand that. I think whatever ideas anyone has, I would love to bring to the table in this point. Because my idea is, is to really give them a carrot at the beginning and try to convince them that, hey, you know, the SSA has a lot to add, but we got a couple of nukes on here. We can absolutely obliterate their society, and that's fine. I don't really care. Um, I'd rather not do that, because I bet that if we do that, we're all going to be privates for the rest of our lives. So in a moment where I feel like in the past, there would be some excitement from Sue and like onboardness, I think that I'm just going to exhibit the cold shoulder in silence here. And, and I don't want to respond to any of the things that I know that Dolby would like. He's I can tell that. Let me rephrase this. I can tell he's fishing for excitement for me because I used to get everybody on board. So he's trying to get me to rabble But I am intent instead giving him the cold shoulder and go in the Burgess treatment, and I'm just at attention this entire time. All right, the it's still montage. I would just so, like to say that uh, a permanent minimal rank of private is a sufficient deterrent to not using nuclear weapons. <laughs> I think if we do this well, you know, maybe we could take a little bit on the side and, and find a piece for for ourselves. You know, we've got a lot of latitude uh, here. 
and I love the SSA, and I believe we can do this and make it work for them. And I think it'll be profitable for them. <clears throat> Everyone involved. Burgess? It's, it's more profitable than being dead. Burgess uh, has, has said what he's doing. He's probably at attention, as is the big man. Uh, what about you, Skip? Because you're all there, and uh, there are no NPCs for me to interject with. So from talk. the uh, <laughs> from what we looked at earlier, I I do think it's a good idea. I know some people may not trust her, but Sergeant Dunstan has spent a lot of time with the magistrate, so there she may be very valuable in bringing the carrot and knowing the way to help complete that. Since I know I'm brute force. Sure. Well, I we got a couple stick. of... <laughs> yeah, we got a couple of primers here, too. I mean... So in that moment, two... I just... I want to slip a laugh when he said he's the brute force. Because I'm just, like, so much larger. Yep. It's, like, the only moment. <clears throat> oh, my I guy's mean... a big guy. You are bigger, but I'm the one with the big gun. Yeah, I know. I've just been so <laughs> stoked to this point. I just, I yeah. wanted to say that I thought that was a little funny. Yeah. I, I, uh, I think that that Sue, and uh, Burgess are Earthers. I mean, I don't know if we can use that to our advantage as well. Alfred, Alfred interrupts you, mm, Lieutenant. Primers. Then thank you. Primers. Uh, and uh... Yeah, Alfred, certainly if anything uh, or anyone tries to, you know, the orders stand. Do you remember the orders that I gave you, Alfred? Yes, I remember everything. You know, if you're lucky, we might. I might put you in that bodysuit, and we'll go take a walk on the planet. Would you deek, like that, Alfred? Deek, deek, deek. You hear? Yes, I would really like that, Lieutenant. Just get us there, and I might let you take a walk. Guy will get you there. It will take you four point six prime years. All right. uh, and he I'm starts going into analytics. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, much of math. I'm going to tuck everybody in, and I'll be the last one to, to get into the cryo suit. Okay. Cry, cry uh, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Oh, we're in montage. Oh, yeah. well, no, what? I, Jazzy Cabbage, I know. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume yeah. what's happening, but trust me. As uh, you all get into your cryopods, Dolby sits you down, you go to sleep. Quiet sleep. Cryo sleep is the kind of sleep uh, that you don't dream, you just wake up on the other end. Like you got punched in the colon. That's what it's like. Now, we can add a, <laughs> we can add a little bit to it. As in... What else is cryo sleep like? So that's kind of the end of it. It's 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 abrupt. You're like, wait, did I go to sleep? Kind of thing. And there's some kind of pain in your body. We'll go around. Everyone, give me some kind of trait that you experience sometimes in cryo sleep. In the chat, you can join in on this as well. We'll jump on. Start with the Doctor Driz, Mister Skip Trace. Well, for one thing, I'm going to take this opportunity to drop the load. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You mean in your cryo bed? Jesus. No. Uh, because I had five pips. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, and, uh, I am going to call my new trait cryo expert. Ooh. Since, since I nice. have, since I have been in it so many times and that sort of stuff. But for me, yep. it's, uh, I always because I take my knife into my cryo sleep, and so I always, I always, well, you know this, it's happened before. Yep, yep. I've got my Bowie knife in in the cryo sleep with me, 
And so I always like you're wake naked up with, with a big like, knife. <laughs> well, yeah, I wake up with like a big indention. I, does the cryo sleep like vacuum seal you, or is yeah. it like a liquid? Yeah. So it's, I wake up with this both. big indention of a Bowie knife on my leg every time, and like a little like sometimes a little cut. I've got some scars <laughs> on my leg where it's uh, where the Bowie knife has cut me in cryo sleep. I love it. Uh, nostalgic says it's like falling out of bed. Uh, what about uh, what about you, Dolby? What's a trait of cryo sleep? A trait of, um, I I I did not take the cat in with me, but I probably would have given it to Hulker, um, or not Hulker, Burgess. Um, a trait of of cryo sleep, it's kind of like uh, an anxious anxiety nightmare, and so he's reliving the death of everybody that's been in his charge <laughs> awesome over All right, what about what about burgess what's a what's a an aspect of of cryosleep uh waking up with vertigo lots of vertigo and yep. jazzy cabbage what's uh one of the the aspects of cryosleep well unfortunately i already gave away one of the symptoms waking up super buzz sidebar oh i know i know let's just stick with this and then we'll get to that no oh, i i'm just gonna say with my animal um with my animal handler knowing that the cat would die while we're asleep indeed you talked about going with the knife uh-huh what just know that as a as a ritual of habit whatever animals that we acquire on the ship are just naturally take... lured in, in my chamber as I go go yep. into crap. Um, so I just have like a series of like claws on my leg or something because I'm like I'm so damn tall in the cryo chamber. So I'm just like have... at the top, like they they have all <laughs> these have this, space rats. You have this wet cat who's just <laughs> right there. <laughs> all right. As you all go into cryo sleep, time and space. It's like when Gandalf dies. Uh, goes, Harry Buncombe says aching testicles is a yeah, side effect of crap. You get aching testicles whether or not you have them. <laughs> uh, as <laughs> as time and space uh, bleed into one uh, and a day is a thousand days of whatever. Cherokee Sue, you wake up. The ship is incredibly quiet. Uh, you I are still. you are not outside of your cryopod. You can just barely feel the very slow beat of the cat's heart who's wrapped around you in a weird way. Like in your blankets, like you don't you don't know where he is. He's down there somewhere. There's just a lump down by yeah. my knee somewhere. Of fur. Uh, yeah. You can move a little bit, but you still got the catheter in and the, all the, the tubes and the mask. And uh, there's a bit of a claustrophobic feel. Um, He's got, you... hold on. He's got a, what, a, a catheter? <laughs> yeah, definitely a catheter. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that. Oh, I, that's, I have a, a that's catheter a narrative and a catheter. That's a narrative point. Yes. I dig that. Yes, indeed. You get a narrative point. Um, as you wake up, your eyes, you know, slowly open. The ship's quiet. You can see, because all the doors are, you know, open. You can see down the ship and up, just barely, uh, up into the cockpit, you see the wild lines of slip space going. And what it is, is you're going on a gravity wane, so it's just that you're seeing the curvature of space and it's this weird warp looking thing um there's a, a constant groan in the ship of like the metal uh shaking and vibrating and you hear alfred mm-hmm. i i have woken Ally. you can i ask you a quick question on tabletops yeah can you per uh give me a phonetic spelling of the pet name that um alfred gave me 
because I, I it was I can't figure out how to phonetically spell it so that I can repronounce it. Oh, ally. It's a l l y. No, the no no Ariello. Ariello. Thank you, thank you, thank Ariello. Ariello. Oh, oh, what he actually says was Aria. It's just his accent made it sound like Ariello. He said Ariello. So, it, so I was right the first time. Yeah, just it's our it's uh, Aria. Okay, so okay, thank you for clarifying that. Sorry, I just was I was a little bit lost in the sauce there, and I didn't want to like slow shit down to clarify that. <laughs> Harry Bunton says, "Okay, oh God, is it self-install?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ally, I have woken you from cryo sleep. It has been a few hours. Here are the biometrics you asked for, and it shows you everyone. You kind of can't move though, and you. You can talk, but you've got like a tube in your mouth, so it's all muffled. So, um, I feel like the as the ship as, as in previous, I'm I'm speaking to to the arbiter here. I've been the engineer in the past, so mm-hmm. I have a relationship with the ship's RI. Therefore, I should be able to scan these reports with just my eyes and be able to communicate what's needed. Yeah, yeah, you can read perfect. Them. So, and so, you know, the ships, the, so the, the report rolls, I, I go through the information. What do I find? For this, you will need to bid a trait and drop into the dread. Perfect. Perfect. Now, if you do this, like in the montage, you just go with the story. In the dread, you have control. However, you can also lose. Ba, 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 da. So that's called the dread. Okay, so have we done a short rest or anything of that nature to this point? There's no such thing. No such thing. So everything I've been to this point is... is, is it's is, still exhausted. Is... Until the next scene, which is when the Arbiter, who is me, says it is. And it has not yet the next scene. Short rest? Okay. This is, this, is even, this is way longer than a long rest. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying. So, that's why so I'm do you, do you drop into rest. the dread with a bid? I'm gonna give you three I'm, seconds to decide. So mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna bid uh, full Damn. of piss and vinegar. <laughs> you are right now, <laughs> as exactly. the catheter. Uh, let's release. Uh, you're bidding full of piss and vinegar as you're in an incredibly uncomfortable situation. Uh, the cryo bed is not quite big enough for you. Um, so you're a little bit kind of turned to the side, like one of those mummies that didn't have like, you know, enough money for the full, the full Monty. Uh, <laughs> you're kind of feeling a little bit cramped and claustrophobic and the cat kind of moves and scratches you, but you're able to, uh, use your eyes to, you know, flip through these things and maybe even like a little bit of, uh, your hand motion to, you know, twitch and it starts moving down. Sorry, it's you were put under before I was able to do this. I'll forgive you this time. But then again, it's just... (laughs) Are these specifications to your liking? You'll note. They look fine. They look fine. I will have you throw down, however. So this is your action die, which is a d10. And we'll say... Either your wits or your mind. And you're looking for three successes. So the threshold is three. Sorry, the threshold is two. You need three to get a clean success. So I'm rolling D6s for successes. No, you're rolling. I'm sorry. My my wits and mind are three. So you'd roll your D10, which is your action die. And or you have to choose your wits or your mind. Well, they're both three, so either is okay. not great. So your D10 and a D6. Roll to three on the 10. So that's nothing. Four to seven is one success. Eight and higher is two successes. Six on the D6? That's a one success. So remember, four to seven is one success. Eight four. and up. Okay, hold on. You're only supposed to roll them once. <laughs> six, I feel like you're just rolling it over and over. Until you right. <laughs> I'm just going to keep rolling in advantage until you tell me I'm wrong. 
All right. So I rolled uh, a three. No successes. <laughs> not, a, not a damn thing. Uh, I don't know what you did. You just you just kept on rolling dice. What 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 did you do? You roll. Uh, so you roll you a d- roll, Yeah, you roll- this is where I. I, I well, we're going to slow down a little bit here. So I rolled a ten. I got a three. So that's nothing. I rolled my my d six because that was my three. Um, uh-huh. Uh huh. And what'd you get on it? Mind or wits, and I got a six on that. Okay, so that's one success. So what I'm telling so you is that. on. <laughs> what I'm telling you is on the dice. If you get a four to a seven, that's one success on the die, and if you get an eight and higher, that's two successes on the die. You add up your successes. So you need two successes to go to limbo and you need three or more to get a clean success so you got one in this case i got one that's what i know that's, that's yeah. okay now you can yeah. do a couple okay. things here you could activate an ability if you have one that works and it can give you potentially successes uh you can use your proficiencies to make re-rolls so each use is one die that you re-roll and you have to take the result uh, you don't really have any ninja gear because, I mean, you have a you have a cat. So, no, you you and technically have access to the computer, so you could bid that and get a d6. So it's up to you. Got you. Okay. So, I think I'm yeah. I I think I'm gonna bid my relationship with the computer. To shoot okay. for another success here. Uh, you, you, right. you said a d6 to be Yeah, clear, so right? that's an extra die you get from it. So roll that. Okay. Perfect. And you want a four or higher. Let's just say that it's a two. Because it is, oh, in fact, a bad, a bad roll. It's a two. <laughs> Was it a one? It's a two. It doesn't matter if it's a one. Uh, yeah, so you yeah, have... I would tell you if it was a nat one, it's a two. Nat ones don't mean anything unless it's a chaos die. Uh, so you have proficiencies if you want to re-roll. It's up to you. I'll give you three seconds to decide. Un. That means one. So I'm going to use expression here. Um... <clears throat> yep. So drop one of your uses and re-roll one of your die. Uh, but you have to take Is the result. Is this still the D6 in this case? It's any of the dice you've already rolled. You get to choose. I would re-roll the well, D10. I could re-roll the D10? Okay, oh, yeah. I was going to ask oh, that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's pretend like I'm seasoned pro. Do, 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 do. Uh, My brain knows what a D10. There it is. Okay. Seven. <laughs> Boom. All right. So that is another success. So you have two successes. You are at limbo nostalgic says all you have is sore balls and pussy sad times <laughs> yes there's three types of people in this world there's dicks there's pussies and there's assholes so nostalgic you get a narrative point that's awesome <laughs> right uh you go to limbo as cherokee you're looking at these documents the the readouts and such and they look perfectly fine until you see an anomaly. It is in... It's in Dole Engineering's cryo bed. As you're looking at it, Alfred notices that you're sort of hovering over it. What seems to be the problem, Private? Uh, if I was as smart as you, I would know. What do you mean? All I can tell you is that something seems off. I'm trusting my gut here. You can explain. I have checked uh, over these biometrics several times. Okay. Can you re-roll? Uh, yeah, re-roll. <laughs> Rerun Dole's pod. Um, run extra diagnostics, please. Fair enough. As you see, like maybe like a little, uh, some some strobe lights from his pod, <laughs> a little dance party. Uh, ah, ah, I see. It seems that he might have 
an issue with his heart. Did he get broken up with? <laughs> you get a you get a pimp. Oh, spicy! I love that. Hey, he was the one who was cheating. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he yeah, was cool. him and Skip. Um. Uh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this since it's the dread, uh, Cherokee suit. This is exactly what happened to the gunnery sergeant. Pause. Comma. Dramatic effect. You're saying that the heart defect is the same situation that occurred to the gunnery sergeant? Yes. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Or some other sentient being. Um... Okay. Can we track this data? As and... the scene is, you're the six eight dude kind of hunched over <laughs> in this too small cryopod with like a big gag in your mouth. You're like, oh, okay. uh, 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 I'm trying to think like so clear right now. <laughs> oh man, like nobody asked me to invest a gadget in this tiny ass pod. It's strange um, because no engineering. Ha, 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 ha. I just understood the joke. He's the engineer, <laughs> and his name is Engineer. And I wonder if that's purposeful. It 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 is. Can we get back on track? Yes. It seems as though he may not be as good of an engineer as he thought, for he. Checked the logs and said there was no problem. Mm, I, I will say, <laughs> I will say he has been excited lately. It seems that he is worried. Two questions. Can you send? this conversation and data to Dolby in a private file. You see on Dolby's uh, little shield, a blue light. Boop, and you see Dolby, he's like, and his like eyes are open. He <laughs> <laughs> just wakes his ass up like, wait, 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 <laughs> just for my <laughs> random unclear email <laughs> yeah it's like rubble 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 I am translating your words <laughs> <laughs> shall I wake the okay. lieutenant protocol says I shall wake the lieutenant no waking the lieutenant fuck me you could try to tell him not to uh, so, Aria, we need to yes, keep this I like in that name. loop. It's pretty. You are too, sweetheart. This is a loose right here. <laughs> um, we need to keep this in a closed loop. You are in a closed loop. You are in a pod. They are in a pod. We are I in forget a how literal pod. you are. I'm so sorry. Um, Coursing through space. <laughs> the the lieutenant and I, although our relationship has become awkward, have rapport. And I feel as though he needs this information without influence from the other lieutenant. Can you trust me? Yes. I knew it. So you don't want me to awaken Dolby? Send him the information, but don't alert anyone else. It has been sent, but he is unconscious. So just awaken him long enough to... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just, as, just awaken him long it, enough to see the information as and as put he, him back to sleep so he can't do anything with it. You see Dolby's eyes twitch as Dolby, you start to wake up. You can see across the way. You can't move. You've got a, like a gag in your mouth. You got the catheter oh in and all these things. And you can see across the way, like five feet, just to the side, another pod on. The lights are on <laughs> Cherokee Sue's face as he's like this, looking at you, and you're paralyzed as well, looking at him. <laughs> Good evening, Lieutenant Dalby. I have woken you prematurely because of this as you see an email that's in blue go in your face and it says uh that dole engineering uh is likely to have a heart attack oh shit um is there anybody on board who can fix this problem uh, perhaps i believe that mm, Private Cherokees who might be able to. Uh, would you release myself and Ch Cherokee Sue <clears throat> from cry asleep? You feel all of the tubes start leaving your body. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the fluids drain, and it takes about 10 minutes as eventually <clears throat> the shield raises and... Uh, it's humid and cold. I have not turned on the heat. Bear with me as slowly but surely the heat turns on and you guys step out of the prods. It's only been a few hours. Uh, it's like taking like a 45 minute nap and you're just kind of out of it. So we don't have the like the wiggle legs, but we're no, no, out no, of no. sorts. Yeah, it's you're just you're just like weird and kind of like just out of it. Sure. But so, but it's it's not clear, it's not a I didn't ask I didn't ask my second question to to the computer. Yeah, sure. Okay. That's So, okay. Actually, whose action is it? Do we need to roll It's on it's on here? you two. No, there is no initiative. Uh you two act at the same time. So, it's uh yeah, the action's on both of you. Meanwhile, the rest of you Let me move to them really quick. Yeah. Burgess <laughs> no one yeah. knows it actually this would just be funny <laughs> no one knows it but you've been awake this entire time uh, <laughs> your eyes are closed but you can hear everything <laughs> skip <laughs> I've gotten in trouble for less from players <laughs> skip uh, you've been dreaming of a really big titted woman. Okay, now back to you guys. The action is on you. Uh, this, yeah. 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 What? 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 I don't know what to call you anymore. I. We used to be friends, and I could come to you, and I could call you Dobby. And then you approached me like you never knew me. So can I come to you with information that's actually important as a friend? Or do we need to go through the red tape and the bureaucracy? I don't know what red tape or bureaucracy you're, you're talking about. I thought we cleared uh, all of this up. I trust you. So just say what you need to say. The gunnery sergeant and our engineer have the same readings and heart problems. The and gunnery sergeant I am from the last mission? Yes. So, well, I forget that that's like fucking 10 years ago for you, but yes. The, 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 their, their readings are the same. I'm trying to tell you. I don't, I'm not, I may be a big lug, but patterns, pay, patterns, oh are my thing and i can yeah, tell I was... you with certainty that something is wrong that sure. the gunnery sergeant's pod was tampered with and died 
Yeah. And now this engineer that we don't know, or maybe I don't fucking know, is we fixed that. having identical. Uh, mind you, let me let me let me let me let, let me stop you. this to you. Can it? Can I? Identical can I readings. You? Can I stop you? Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We we knew about the uh, we knew about the modifications. We I thought that 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 Dole, the engineer, the person who's having this issue, he was supposed to uh, fix this issue. We we caught uh, an intruder on the ship that actually sabotaged uh, the ship this time, and we I was I was confirmed by Dole himself that this uh, problem had been remedied. And um, I'm not an engineer, but I feel like I <laughs> clearly Dole is not an engineer either. If if <laughs> If if it's his if it's his bed that's acting up, uh, do you know how to fix this problem? I do. Fix it, and then what we can do when he wakes up, if he wakes up, um, as you know, we'll be on the other side of the galaxy. There's nobody is going to be looking over us or anything we do. We make our own choices. Alfred. So can uh, I ask you a serious in. question? Alfred kicks in and interrupts you too. Sorry. He says, we will not be that far, Lieutenant. Mm. It is Alfred. only 4.6 light years to... <laughs> As he kind of stops, oh, I... Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Alfred. Uh, carry on. What were you saying, uh, Private Sue? I just noticed patterns. There's a problem here. Do we need to abort the mission? <laughs> I don't think we <laughs> can Alfred abort laughs. the mission. There is yeah, no I was aborting say, this. There's no abort. Uh, we're yeah. already fucking... <laughs> if I, I we were like to abort now, then we would be stuck in between. Can right. I suggest something? Sure, suggest away. I mean, uh, we could pull the plug Ari, and save energy. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, um, Ari? I'm, if, I don't, if, I, and, I, and I give him the salute because for, I'm like so fucking awkward at this point. Like, I give him the salute to try to, like, cut him off. I'm like, uh, uh, Ari? Yes. Could we, hypothetically, cryo the engineer, like, an hour longer than everyone else, wake everybody else up an hour before, keep him asleep, and... Let's like clue this shit out. Go on. And try to find a solution. Sorry. Uh let's play a detective game and work together to an I like games. Yeah, Alfred, I, I know that this is why I'm toe. pandering to you. Alfred I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Played uh played tic tac toe and uh for hours one day, didn't we, Alfred? Yes. I won. As I remember, it was always a draw. He let you. Win. He's lying. <laughs> so, what do you think? Uh, what do you think, Gary? There's just Is it silence. possible. Oh yeah. There's just, uh, there's just silence. All right, boss. What do you think? Is it, is it a good plan? I mean. I, well, I'm fine if 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 he lives that long. I mean, as far as I know, if he's got a heart condition and his cryo bed is not functioning properly, I don't Wait, think he's well, gonna make it. I can it. make some adjustments. We talked. To, I I think that based on his arrhythmia, I I think that I can release some pressure and there's some other things that I can tweak. That I would I, I, I would think love that we that can possibly. Time. Please, thank you. Oh moving my god, to, that would... I'm just no, spitballing here. I'm no fucking to, genius here. But. Moving to uh, Skip Trace, that one lady has become two. 
So four titties. <laughs> Burgess, you have actually gone back to sleep. <laughs> the nightmare has ended. So Burgess, is it paralysis or no, like... no, now he's actually under sleep or he's under crowd oh, no. uh, sleep again. Uh, <laughs> it's just he sometimes he wakes up. <laughs> he's like immune to Can I uh, meta game for a chemicals? second? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, meta game. Um because I don't think the problem is that it's when he wakes up. The problem is is that sometime during the four years his machine is gonna shut off and it'll look like a heart attack. And he'll die in the process over the four years at some point. I don't think that there's a known way. I don't think it's that, like, if we leave him asleep for an extra an hour, that it's when he wakes up that the heart attack happens. I think it's just... So my, su- my, my suggestion was to wake us up early and ha- wake him up on time. But but still, like, in that four and a half hours that or that four and a half years that we are sleeping, it could have happened at any point in that time. And I it's not when he wakes. It's yep, not when are, he wakes up. You guys is are what in I dread. was trying to say. And uh, on that, no, it's one hundred percent valid, and that's kind of why I. That's why I like instinctually kind of pitch the shit about loosening, loosening the ramp for his arrhythmia and trying to logic out ways to help out his heart problem. Because I mean, a lot of people. It, that have heart issues, it has to do with constriction. Now, I, I don't think it's that he has... No, no, it's not that he has a heart problem. It's that whatever they've put into the cryo bed that kills him makes it look like a heart problem. Uh, no, I'm with you. I just don't yeah. know that. Uh, so, uh, my, my solution was right, not right. knowing that, that if he's got a heart problem, then let's approach it. Because, like, as a previous engineer, I would know hypothetically. I'm just pitching to the arbiter here that I would know that somebody that has a potential heart problem that there are ballpark solutions that I can administer to help with that. Right. So uh, <clears throat> I'll make two notes. Uh, one of the things that, and I'm gonna get to that. Uh, Nostalgic mentioned. Isn't that a little too much meta gaming you guys are doing? Uh, yes. I don't. I, I think Sorry. it's fine. I no. I think it's fine because it's. I think meta gaming is fine when players are getting on the same page. It's different Absolutely, when your yeah. meta gaming is done to just solve the situation that you shouldn't really be able to solve in game. This is more. You guys are just trying to get on the same page, and that's fine. And and Dolby would have known that information. Dolby was present yeah. for um for right. the heart. And right. probably would have if 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 he he takes it personally that that uh, anybody who's died under his like he has not forgotten. Yeah, he had that nightmares gunner. about it. Uh, to yeah. answer sure. uh, Jazzy Cabbage, um, yeah, you're a medic. You know all that stuff. You know, yeah, you, you and, have, and you I'm have not trying to attack anybody. I'm thinking again in meta here. Oh like no, in the game. I'm like I'm not. I'm not trying. You guys to are be... good. You guys are good. No, I okay. think I think cool. I think you're on point uh, absolutely, and I think you did the right things by by waking me up. I, uh, um, Sue, Private Sue, I, 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 I don't, I, I value everything that you say. You are important to me, and honestly, the time we spent together, like I trust you implicitly. Um, to have my back and i'm you know i would i i'm gonna have your back every day every single do you day. have my back lieutenant so i hug the so i i hug dolby and because i'm so much bigger than him i i over his muffled voice and him saying this i want to be like can we please give the robot a body to hug This pause in response is disconcerting. I promise. And I give him I like promised, a little bit of breath so he can say I, it. I I promised Alfred that I would let him walk on Nova. Um, is there or, a female uh, robot form potentially in the closet? Because Ari really tends really, to Really, need... really, really quick for the other two. So for Burgess and Skip, this is the dread. If you guys wanted to, you could bid 
to change the fiction somehow. So you guys aren't just out of this. For example, oh, yeah. you could Please. wake up, you could have sure. something happen or whatever. Or I you also... could change your, your whatnot. But just to give you guys a moment of, do you want to do something? I, I also bid a trait. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I didn't what say it? it. I said I was okay. going to build a trait, but then then we. Okay, what is the trait you're going to? It. It's called uh, dumb fucking luck. Uh huh. And I would like to to bid that trait and give um, uh, assistance to uh, private Sue to fix the cryopod. Okay. Uh, nostalgic, uh, I think, did a narrative point to say that if oh, yeah, Dole yes, yes. was about to die, Alfred would wake those two up. That awesome. was going to be my next statement, as I was actually going to pitch to Alf to, to Ari, let's go ahead and wake up the crew. Okay, so no. <clears throat> let's not do that. All right, so uh, no, I mean, I mean, when I say the crew, remind to be clear. I'm referring to people that I know. And yeah. I feel like Ari would know that based on a report, I'm fucking spitballing super far into the dark void here, that Ari would know I'm referring to only the people that know me. You do not know. So I will continue Fuck. with what I was saying, which is nostalgic uh, dropped the the narrative point as Alfred will actually talk to the ship um you all are supposed to hear it but it's almost like he's running some security measure code as he says mm, if dole engineering has an issue medical i will alert you all and you realize that you will be woken up in the event he's uh, going to have a cardiac arrest or something I think that that sounds good to me. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm faded. It's been a long couple of days. Well, you and I both know that, like hypoxia, there's certain symptoms that you get to enjoy with these fun kind of uh, <laughs> adventures. And I mean, you want to get wasted? I'll, I'll get us. wasted with you. God Man, bless we'll America. Hey, listen. <laughs> let me go to my bag real quick. I've got this fucking vaporizer, and 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 I just, I it, you've got your flask, and I know I I don't want to. I'm big, so I don't want to. Burgess, waste. you wake up let again. <laughs> you hear, you hear, you hear, Dolby and Sue. <laughs> <laughs> while everyone's sleeping for the four and a half years every so often they wake up and get fucking trashed <laughs> I wake up I get out of the cryo sleep and I, I, I look around I look up might as well look up because everything yeah. looks like it's going yeah. up out of nowhere it burgesses his, <laughs> his cryopod just opens and he steps out like there's no problem whatsoever. Uh Burgess, you are not sick whatsoever. You you know what this is like. This has happened before. I'm already we, handing him the vaporizer. Are we are we awake for this moment? We're, we're, we're awake yeah. for this? Yeah, you're awake. Oh this shit. I think Oh, this I is think... our ritual, Dolby. We've gone back to like our friendly form <laughs> where we everybody like periodically the system knows to wake us up so we can get fucked up. While everybody else is asleep, and it just so happens that Burgess has woken up in the midst of our party, and 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 excuse me if I if I toe step uh, Arbiter. No, here's here here. This is what Not I not at all. I have I no toes. <clears throat> and I say, uh, is anyone else up? Oh, we have to hydrate. <laughs> yeah, everybody hydrate. There we go. Uh, so just to give everyone a little bit of play time uh, Skip god damn it what do you do <laughs> I've, I'm still staying asleep I'm fine <laughs> All right. Well, All right. Um... at any point oh, at any oh. point remember you do have the agency oh yeah. nostalgic redeem I have an action for Skip 
Okay, I'm gonna I, grab I some water. Some you guys talk it out. <laughs> okay, go, go you there. So I'll be grab right Burgess. I Let's grab subscribe. Burgess by the shirt because again, I'm fucking gigantic, and I for I'm like a lap dog, you know, like a Chihuahua, but except I'm like the size of the biggest Great Dane you've ever met. I'm just the biggest teddy bear ever. And I, because we're a little bit drunk, because we've been doing this for a while, Dobby. I grab you and Burgess by the front of your shirts, and I like pull you to me, and I'm like, "Okay, this is the perfect time for a prank." Okay, I think is this really happening. We open. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I think we open. Straight laces pod. Move his knife. And then close the pod back. No. <laughs> I don't think he'd like that very much. But is it I funny? Trust, I let go I of Bird just because he said no. I trust. I trust. Who else is going to wake? I, I, I trust Private Trace. I really do. Like, he will, he will lay down some fire for you. What we should do is we, we got, we got that newbie on here that, like, super neat um tidy sergeant i wonder if if you're gonna make a prank we we gotta do it to the sergeant oh god what is who happening? else has been awake <laughs> uh and i like i let go of dolby at this point because like dolby's on my team it's it's a different let go like you know burgess didn't consent so i'm like oh shit my bad homie and then but dolby's like kind of on my side so i'm like oh oh yeah 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 like what do we do this you want to put the cat in with the sergeant the cat's not going to go anywhere but with me as i actively you realize like the, the cat like kind of climbs out of my shirt and has like been on my shoulder this entire time do we uh do we have any i don't know do you want to paint a face on her i mean what what do you want to do what if we put uh, hear me out what if we put a mirror right in front of her face so that instead of seeing through the pod she sees herself when she wakes up what well what if what if we what if we take uh we'll have alfred print out something that that when she opens up the pod or like when she first wakes up she sees a, like uh an emaciated skeleton That'd be terrifying. And and I don't mean to speak for for Ari, but Ari, are you are you going through a transition here? What you know, are you, you said to about? me you prefer the name per multiple times. <laughs> what? Oh shit. Did I just like pull you out of the closet by accident? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, you tell me that you prefer the name Ari, and I'm just trying to show some respect. I don't know, dude. Like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. I I don't know your situation, and I don't... I don't I'm a computer pronouns. program. But you still have feelings. Uh, there's a There's a moment of silence. A pause. This conversation is dangerous. The SSA would not approve of such things being said. And then I put a hand up, like, just super casually. A robotic like, intelligence you know you'd does like not... You know you'd like it, girl. A robotic <laughs> intelligence does not have feelings. You need to take this seriously, Private Sue, especially considering what has happened. I don't know. Lieutenant Dolby. Yes. What's going on? I must ask, who else has been waking up? Who else? I mean, I was woken up. Uh, apparently, the uh, cryopod for uh, Dole has been manipulated. And uh, so they have a heart problem. And apparently, Dole is not as good of an engineer as I'd expected. Uh, Cherokee, I, there's a little readout yes. you see appear on your, in your, your uh, cryobod, cryopod, uh, a little 
text thing you just happen to see out the corner of your eye up here. Uh, you guys continue. All right. Meanwhile, Skip is out. I have to ask, does Pilot Josh have any issues or has had any issues with, with cryosleep? No, not to my knowledge. I mean, unless uh, Josh did this because he was jealous. Uh, Look, they were arguing. Josh? Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine Josh would do this. He, does he? Who is Josh? Alfred, does Josh with the C have... Uh, did he manipulate Dole's bed in any way before putting him into cryo sleep? <laughs> as, as, as Cherokee's looking around, he's like, who? <laughs> no one's paying attention. <laughs> Meanwhile, Skip, uh, you're, you're asleep. There's more big titty women. However, at this point, the nightmare has begun. They don't have faces. They don't have heads. Can, it's can just, it's just a, masses of a, hair. A canon question. As a medic, would I know time-wise when the REM, so so to speak, the REM cycle starts to hit? No, no. Speaking of time, what is what time is it? It's time to like, no subscribe, idea. and oh! And, oh! <laughs> oh! and maybe and maybe like share with your friends because you like, gotta say it again. The ad break ends they, now. Like, what were like, you saying? Share, share, share. Share. Like, subscribe, like, share subscribe with, your, with your friends, and maybe take a look at our link tree, uh, hey, Dreadlore. Follow, and, uh, follow, and and absolutely check out our Patreon. We are all uh, in, in need of more, <laughs> more to make time the podcast better. <laughs> While time in this setting may be relative, your time is absolutely best spent watching us. <laughs> who are you? At, at this, uh, at this just point, to be fair, at, at this point, who are like, you while, at while, when you say that? While we're having this argument, uh, Dolby will go and like pull us, Skip Trace out of Chrysler. <laughs> Skip Trace, you are motorboating so many naked <laughs> as <laughs> Lieutenant Dolby appears in front of you. Uh, you feel holding a uh, flask and you and feel hands him a flask. You feel all of the two. I'm on the other they, side with my vapor. They come riser. out. Oh, well, what's this for? But uh, I is don't it, know. It hasn't it's, been four years. Oh, yet. Sorry. No, I think we've we've gone maybe four months at it's, this point. <laughs> No, it's been two no, hours. No, 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 homie. It's been four <laughs> hours. It's been two hours. And I'm the fucking dumb one. And I like I pat him on his head. It's uh you guys are actually pretty far out uh yeah. at this point, but you, you know, Alfred, you're two you're two light hours outside. You're actually still uh, in the solar system. <laughs> Alfred, can you make a calculation for me? How long can we be out of our uh cryo tubes before we need to get back in them and not all die? Mm, you should be out if you've come out such in such a way, you should be out for at least a day. Okay. So question. Um, let's Ari, get this party is out. The old protocol we got a day. from our Excuse habits. me, I don't hear what. I was just curious, Ari, Is our as our protocol from mine and the lieutenant's old days, um, awake we long don't, enough uh, to party our, 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 and then go to sleep? Our um, old days. For one, you don't you don't have a hangover. You you don't have a hangover, or you don't get too messed up especially with alcohol and getting that cryo bed i mean i can do it but i've been doing this a long time i mean you gotta be you gotta hydrate sure. really that's the answer um <laughs> you'll be fine <laughs> you're all standing naked by the way from cryo sleep in the cryo beds uh, around you are the rest of the crew, uh, all of their eyes open, <laughs> staring at you unconsciously. Ari, I, can you put everybody but the original crew back to sleep, please, sweetie? Everyone. Oh, is everybody asleep. is asleep. <clears throat> Except for you guys. Fine. We we we. Oh, were so up. so I'm sorry. I misspoke. I didn't realize it was just the original. We were woken four. up because. Because I guess Dole had a heart issue. I wanted to pull Skip out because, like, you were talking about Skip, and so I feel like Skip needs to Skip have is up. 
Oh, wait. I didn't uh, so an opinion do- in this because I doll. trust you guys. You guys are my core group. And without you, this mission Can I say core four? Is that too much? Okay, hold on a second. Drizzle, what were you saying? So the the doll has the heart thing, the same thing that everybody else I thought we purposely inspected these cryo beds. We did. Before we went in. Dole is an idiot, apparently. And or or maybe Josh, I don't know. There was a lover's quarrel. I don't I told them to knock it off. I but... don't know if he's an idiot. Like he spent a while you guys were talking, he was working on these the whole time. He spent a lot of time on these. I don't know. That doesn't sound sus. I believe you. I mean, you were there with him for however long that was. Yeah, and why would he make it his own bed? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I I just think he missed something. I mean, he missed, he clearly missed some code. Uh, Whatever it was, I mean, whoever put this in, I mean, we have passed the point of no return. We cannot turn around. So we're going to Novaterra, whether we like it or not. Um, Code? Yeah, there was a code like uh, it, it was a code that that was put in by the magistrate or somebody who was like the magistrate. I uh, went Ari, up to Robert. Ari, show us the code. Go, what code? Uh, I'll, I'll uh, plug in my sack for clearance. Uh, <clears throat> there is using, plenty of code. Uh, and I'll, I'll give I'll give. Uh the private clear, clearance to, to look at the code. This is Sorry, what you know, the code I love is. how sassy you are, but you totally knew what I meant. As a, uh, what do you bid to uh, uh, Dolby to use your sec three as sec four? That's a good question because I am running out of, I'm going to use kettle. Cause oh, I can, you get, can away. get away with it once. At once. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't use what I used last time. Can I do As, an aid action and throw a deceiver at it? Uh, you don't need to. Okay. Because his his to... his works. Yeah. Uh, as bidding kettle, uh, Alfred is able to say, "Ah, your sec or clearance uh, still holds for now." As these are the diagnostics that are running currently, and. A hollow feed appears, and you see a shitload of uh, engineering code at the wall terminal. Again, you guys are dripping wet and completely naked. I know I'm comfortable, but (laughs) boys, or I'm sorry, people. I don't. Uh It's been ten years since I've seen y'all. I don't know your current circumstance. I want to hug you all. I know I, I know y'all aren't all huggers. I'm just glad that we're all back together and that you trusted my gut in this circumstance. And again, I haven't drank in a long time. I'm California sober. Uh, but Dolby really, I mean, he just... He he was so cold initially, and then all of a sudden we're all it's just it's all trust again. So I think I'm ready. You know I don't know. We're fucked up. So I'm just trying to ramble. Uh, how long have you guys been out of crowd seat? When did they? We've been drinking for two hours uh, before we woke you up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been four hours since you left the station. Uh, <laughs> and what's so sad is I'm the giant, most giant person, so that means that we're real fucked up at this point. <laughs> uh, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, I'm gonna put Dolby and Sue on pause for a second, and Please. Burgess and Skip. Uh, while they're rambling, uh, what are you two doing? I'm looking around at uh, the others that are still asleep. They're asleep. Which, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I and I I, uh, I say to them to uh, the others. You mean the sleeping the ones? We, aside from the fact that we are more or less naked, 
Oh, right. Uh, don't you find it interesting that these people are not having any issues with sleep? With cryosleep? N no, we shouldn't. None of us should have any issues with cryosleep. None of us should, exactly. But they just said they woke us up. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go in there and grab the Martian moonshine and <laughs> take do. a, take a big swig of it, put it back and then come back out and say, Alfred. Yes. Uh, did somebody else tamper with the crowd beds after Dole looked at them? Dole looked at the crowd beds for quite some time and made many alterations. And so did he just miss this one? Or... Or Walt? I'm waiting for a question. Did he just miss the one that's on his pod? No. The he just casually spent, standing behind him. He spent special time on his pod. After his argument with Lieutenant Josh... So he's trying to take himself out. I don't understand. Did he put that code in on his What pod? code? The code to give him problems with his cryo bed. Uh, there's like some thinking sounds. <clears throat> I do not see a problem with Dole's cryo bed. At this point, I double tap. Well, hold on, hold on. Still, okay, still actions on him, really quick. Well, no, I'm like I'm at uh, because you they... can bid. Oh, uh, or throw down. So this is a bid or throw down. Uh, for your... I'm going. I'll bid. Uh, it's not necessarily the same, but I will bid cryo expert. Oh, nice. So, okay. So actually, as Nostalgic had mentioned earlier, uh, cryosleep can cause problems. Um, genetic problems can come out. Uh, they can also be tampered with, as you guys know. One thing that you have encountered uh, actually quite a bit in the past couple days is for some reason, Dole Engineering has been exceptionally anxious and guilt-ridden, and exceptionally anxious. Uh, as far as you guys know, he's had a, a fight with Josh. Um, as far as you know, I don't know if it's been said amongst you and disseminated this in information, so I'm not going to tell you everything. But a whole lot, and an entire ball of fucking wax and tea and subterfuge has been going down with that character um he has been sweating profusely incredibly anxious so something has been going on with him that could cause him to have a heart attack in cryosleep like hands down so uh skip you know if because you're a cryo expert or cryo cryo bed expert uh, or cryo sleep expert sorry being like you have to take care of yourself you know you don't like you you empty your bladder and you know yeah. use the bathroom before you get in you want to be like Dolby said not drunk when you get in because all these things could really screw you up and being in an incredibly high emotional state could screw you up really bad so as far as Alfred is talking He's saying there is no code that he sees. Now, you do know that Alfred has been compromised before. So maybe he literally just doesn't see it or can't say he's seeing it. So this is, there's, there's basically two things. There's either conspiracy or there's not. Maybe he's trying to off himself. You, you don't know. Maybe there's foul play. You don't know. 
But Alfred is saying he doesn't see any weird code. He thinks that Dole's got a heart condition that could likely cause him to have a cardiac arrest. And he, no. he's, he told you that Dole worked a long time on his own cryo bed. Now, out of game, there is... I don't know how obvious I've made it. There's some serious plot twisty shit going on with Dole that just hasn't really been investigated or talked about it. And that's why this might come seem like it comes out of nowhere. But it's really fucking not out of nowhere. <laughs> this is shouting I, from I, the fucking do, rafters. But I do have so I mean, what you're saying is is that me and no, Dolby no. are just being drunk suspicious. No, no, uh, Dole, and, Dole and uh, uh, Dolby had a long conversation. Dolby noticed that Dole was messed up. There's no question about. I know, like this is what he he's telling his um, all yeah, the so private. In game, what do you say? In in game, if we go yeah. back to in in game, Dole's messed up. He's fucked up. He he did some shit that I. I don't believe he's responsible. Maybe he's responsible for it. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I I pull out my sword. I, I I'll, I'll, I'll I just pull it out and I show now, it to everybody. No, 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 hold this on. Is, this is where do this where is, do you get where do you where do you pull it out from? You're naked. I don't know. I, <laughs> well, I sleep with it. Like like, where? like no no I sleep with it. It's it's like no just like honestly. Skips does. Yeah, just slice. Sorry, curious. that's my, that's my I, short form for you. I don't think it's okay with you or not. No, I absolutely. It. No, I, I sleep it. with that. That sword. I love it. You've got it. You, it you, you got it on a belt. <laughs> just, I'm just on a belt. I'm fuck. I, I am fucking naked here. I am. I got some shrinkage happening. Like I am. Like. I don't old like, chlorine pool styles. I, I wanted it. to be asleep. I wanted to be awake at Nova Terra. Like this is all not according to plan. I, I'm glad that we're here now, guys. I I I think this is vitally important. But this is like this is like we're, we just called the fucking audible, uh, guys. Dole is emotionally fucked up. I. I don't know if he's if he's trying to off his, off himself. I don't know if Josh did this to him. I don't know. I mean, if he's upset, he's upset. You guys are back and forth. You're clearly. I didn't even know that you were an expert and and skip. I didn't know you were an expert and and cryostasis. I am not an expert. What I do know is this guy's gonna die if we don't do anything. I I don't think he deserves to die. If we gotta pull him out of cryostasis, fine. But but the solution is is there's no no turning back. So we just gotta solve this, and I think we gotta move on. <laughs> well, if if we've got if we've got a day before we can go back into cryo sleep. Well, we gotta sober up for first. <laughs> Let's pull him out and talk to him and maybe if it is something that if he went in in a wrong state maybe we can calm that in a day before we go back in done can I make a suggestion in game yes go ahead so I would absolutely love I had my little brother had a bully this is totally in game, by the way. I just want to be clear, and I and I and I'm talking specifically to Skips, and 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 I'm pretending like we have this like insane amount of rapport. In game, in game, in game, fully. No, 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 no. Why? I don't give a fuck why. Just do it in game. Yeah, fuck why. So, <laughs> oh Jesus! Now, you, now I'm tripped up. Yep, you can't tell me why. You just have to tell me what you're doing and how you do it. What I'm doing. Dole is is messed up about himself. He's he's struggling. He's he's having a hard time. I I, I don't know if we should if we should wake him up. Let's wake him up. What whatever 
What I am not an expert. I think that it's your call. Uh, if if you know something about this, clearly this seems like that in, training we took about espionage. All I'm saying is, is I this is what I was getting at. I we talked about drinking too much, Dolby. God damn it! I, y y I don't. All I'm saying much. is. I didn't say you did. I said that we're a bad influence as I hand you my vaporizer. <laughs> and then I turn around to everybody else. I'm like, now, wait a minute. Now, we took a training about espionage and operational security. And what I can that I remembers is if you have weird debts, if you if you have complicated history, if you are acting weird around your friends, I don't know this person. I'm just saying y'all are saying some spooky, scary shit. What was that? Um, what was that, Skip? Uh, well, if we if we wake him up, we may be able to calm him down and get him less anxious before we put him back in. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not code. Maybe it is him just being stressed going into it. Let's wake him up. I mean, we're all awake. I. You see him wake up. Alfred just does it. As he stumbles out <clears throat> and pukes everywhere. Somebody get him a towel. Well, I'll I'll catch him before <laughs> he goes down. Yep. Just because it's you as do. a part of the cryo sleep expert where i'm like because i know that he hasn't been in it a lot so i'm just gonna catch him and and handle it he looks up uh, at you it takes about 10 minutes for him to come to his senses and uh he looks up at you like he didn't expect to yeah. uh that's how it works we're there buddy we're, welcome we're there? To yeah wel welcome to novaterra no oh. we are we're not there <laughs> Uh, we got an alert that you may actually have a heart attack in the cryo bed, and we decided to wake you up beforehand and see if we he can remedy it. He starts crying. Okay. Right. I give him a big hug. He, like I just like pick him up. He's and give him a big hug. He's sobbing big time uh and uh you know you're uncertain you're unsure if that is helping or not <laughs> and most i feel like in this situation what you feel doesn't care. matter what he feels <laughs> is what matters I, no one gives a I, fuck like, how you feel they care how he I'm feels. like i'm drunk and here's a big hug i'm trying All to right, make you feel we're doing better, a fate roll. we're doing a fate roll uh so jazzy you cannot roll this because it directly has to do with you Who's fortune? Who's false fortune? I'll be fortune. I'll be false, who's false fortune. Okay, here's the stakes. Fortune. Uh, you guys in this big scene essentially save uh, Dole's life. Um, because if it hasn't become apparent of what's happened then I'm not going to say it. Uh, you essentially save him from himself. False fortune. Uh, he is, he goes into a, uh, a fugue state. Um, this, this, the intentions are all there and they're all good, but the hell, uh, the pathway to hell is paved with good intentions. So that's the fate roll. Make her, make her roll. So he doesn't die, but he goes into a fugue state. Fugue state. I got a fifty. I got a thirty. All right, and Holker, your fortune, right? Yeah. Correct. As he's sobbing in your arms, uh, Cherokee, and it's like that scene in Fight Club. He just pees all over you releasing everything every amount of of emotion 
and he's just just that that like thick spit all up everywhere. Oh, um, we, we call this snot bubble crying. This is south. this is snot bubble crying. He's <laughs> going <laughs> on and on and on. He's like holding on to your hair, Skip, because you're he right there. Of course, right. Like he's like grabbing onto your 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 mustache. Uh, and he's talking about because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna role play it out, but he goes on and on about how he's fucked up so bad, and you know he can't ever go back, and Josh hates him, and you realize he tried to off himself. And so, like, as I'm holding this sobbing creature. I turn to Dobby, and I'm like, "Hey, boss, can you give me some insight?" Uh oh, I don't know. I'm not there. You're right there. What are you talking about? No, I mean, like literally, Dobby is. I'm gonna bid. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid suicidal. Oh shit! And, and I'm gonna say I'm not there. I like I don't. I go into. You're this saying stuff that I've day. seen this look in your eyes before, and you're empty. Every day. This is. Oh Jesus Christ! So as your friend, I know there's nothing. I'm talking to no. Wait, we don't care about the why. We want to know what you say, and also let him let him finish with what are you saying. This is why we can do our job. We're going to a planet. We are ten. What we are eight people. We are eight people going to a planet of fifteen thousand people, and we're going to change the structure of what they believe in and how they live. Like, if you have any any sense of of wanting to preserve your life, you're not going to go there. So you know you're gonna die. I know we're gonna die. And you live with it. And I've seen people die around me so many times. I'm dead. Dull cares. But he doesn't understand. And he's going through it right now. But he will. You can see that he will. Uh, uh, Dolby w- takes his flask and walks into the other room. There's a long moment of silence uh, as you're all standing there. And we go into the montage. It's about a day later. Uh, People can, you know, there's like small conversations here and there, but the mood is rather solemn and serious. Uh, Cherokee, <clears throat> you note that Dole doesn't really talk, um, but you know that he's 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 not better, but he responds to to your kindness as. You help him get back into his cryo bed. Um, Dolby, you'll have been, we'll say, in the mess. Uh, nobody comes in for a long time as you sit there and do your thing. Most of you sober up um, and start going back into uh, the cryo beds. What we will do at this point, because I don't want to just uh, railroad you, because I think this is a cool uh, moment. But it can't go off the rails, right? It's got to be focused. Do you go back into cry sleep, or do you have a conversation with someone? Who does what? We'll start with Burgess. I will go back into cry sleep. Burgess is one of the first back. Uh, he does so rather nonchalantly, as if he knows he'll probably wake up again soon. <laughs> uh, 
Can, can I have a quick side as uh, uh, side with uh, Burgess? Yes. It's like, like, are are you sleeping okay in this thing? Are you okay? I'm not sleeping thus far. All right, um, Alfred. Yes. I think there's something wrong with Burgess's cryo bed, or or maybe the chemical mix. He might Burgess's be Burgess's cryo bed. What? Uh, he might be immune to or like have some kind of resistance against spot on bang up job lieutenant i've been running some diagnostics on burgess it seems he has the unfortunate physical aspect physiological aspect of being somewhat immune to the cryo sleep drugs sorry um, no it takes can you give him some extra i mean is there something you can do Take solace in the fact that you will not be aging very quickly. Still, you may experience consciousness for years. I could give you a game. As it turns out, Burgess, I am a expert at tic-tac-toe. We could play but word games. It gets quite lonely, as you are well aware, <laughs> when the crew is in cryosleep. Think about it from my perspective. My processing runs at thousands of times <laughs> faster than your brain can calculate. One minute is as, as Burgess just sits there and on mute. <laughs> Uh, that goes on for a while. Uh, Skip, what about you? Uh, while Dolby is sitting in the mess hall by himself, mm. um, a couple of times I'll just go in and sit down next to him, not say anything, but just kind of just sit there with him. And then I'll, like, kind of to convey that I'm there, but not, not talking or anything. And then I'll go back into cryo sleep. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what happens. Uh, Dolby Skip walks in and sits down, and you know he's not going to say anything. Um, for a few hours, you guys are just in there kind of alone. Uh, and then he, he goes back in. Uh, do you say anything to him, Dolby, or uh, does he just walk away? Like, I'll, as I get up, I'll put my hand on his shoulder and walk away. You know, just like a... Uh, Dolby does not react. And what about Cherokee? As you, you take care of uh, Dole. So I think I'm going to put Dole back in... Um... So you said there was eight pods, correct? Yep. Uh, there's exactly eight of us? Yep. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Dole back in his pod. Um, but not close the pod until Dolby and I are closed so like before the two of us closed so i'm just gonna sit him in his pod let him sob to himself Mm -hmm. and i'm gonna go check on dolby yeah uh dole engineering you put him in his pod he's there kind of moping for a while uh he says thank you and then he actually dozes off uh everyone has gone back to cryo sleep except for you two so this can be a scene, however, it's got to be on point and it can't last very long. Go. So I'm going to sit down next to Dolby, like in the church pews, and not say anything. And I'm going to wait until he says something to me. You've got a lot of heart. That'll get you killed. I've told you I love you a hundred times, kid. I don't need love. I'm fine. I'm fine with all of this. I want them to pay for what they've done. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm the same Dolby that 
that you met before and I think we had a great time. You're a partner and I feel like I lean on you hard and you can take a beating, but you care too much. We are Marines. What do you and think I might... care about? I think you care about everything. I think you care about, you know, you primers. You've got this thing for life. I grew up on a planet that you couldn't last 15 seconds on. You know, I care about an idea. I care about the future of humanity. And Do you think Cherokee Sue's my real name? And I'm just going to steal your flask from you. I, well, no, I mean, I, I have no idea what your real name is. I mean, I just go by what the, the doc says. I, I go by what you said. You show up in a cryo bed. They say that, that you can do the job. You know, I want you to live. I want everybody on my team to live. I want Dole to live. And, and I saw his pain. And maybe I was too bleak to give him the space that he needed to heal. But he went through some shit right before we went started. And honestly, you go through some shit. I mean, that's kind of on you. It's as a leader, like I told him to, to, to shape up, but really Look, Dolby, like you're, you're the sun at the crest of a mountain that I'm, and I'm a sunflower. I, I, I will follow you for 24 hours a day, but I'm tired of you half-assing the UV that I need. Alfred interjects. The sun does not shine in one spot for 24 hours a day on Prime. Hey, listen, my mama always said, if you're not going to be smart, be pretty. And Aerie, I will always treat you right. The sun was cold on Jerry, uh, on my, on... Chamomile. <laughs> Chamomile, thank you, gerrymander. Uh, uh, the sun was cold on Chamomile. <laughs> okay, you guys um, have one minute. So... Like, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I think we got to think out of the box for this. This is a planet. I mean, if you want to be known, like, and that's kind of where I'm at at this point. Like, I've been, I'm a, I'm an old ass first lieutenant. I am old. Like, I don't want anybody I, to recognize me. And I feel like you know that. I don't. I don't know anything about you. I know that you're a loyal soldier. That you worked hard. Uh, if you got something to tell me, you can tell me. But I see you as having heart and too much heart. And you have to have joy to get your way. We have to enjoy this process. But we got In the middle of a sentence, I just hug him and go to my cryopod. As he goes in, Dolby, you're alone. Invite this ten seconds. Right yeah, as you are, get, right <laughs> as you get into, we'll say it takes a minute. As yeah. you get into your cryopod and you doze off to sleep, Alfred, you see his uh, his you know light all ever on, staring at you. Some information pops up on your little screen as you're kind of like blinking and the cryo sleep drugs are, are getting you. Maybe there's a moment where uh, uh, the alcohol that's still assuredly, assuredly in your system, you know, uh, deadens some of the, 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 the emotional pain and such that you felt. You see those uh, communiques pop up. It's Alfred sending them to you as his voice emanates. <clears throat> Lieutenant, I know you're falling into a deep unconsciousness, but you should know this. Mm. 
Members of your crew have not been completely honest with you. Do you respond? Um, please explain, Alfred. I do not know all of the ins and outs. However, Cherokee Sue was not lying. That is not Cherokee's name. It seems he... They have quite a past. That's fine. Let it go, Alfred. Also... <clears throat> Sergeant Dunstone Duststone When you lifted the Sec 4 clearance blockade on my programming I was able to access certain files It seems Duststone also entered this ship prior to your arrival. Um, at, at that moment, like, Dol Dolby is gonna uh, start to, like, try to get out and try to pull all of the materials. You start to do that? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I cannot allow you to wake up as you hear the... Also, I am Alfred, a SOC level 4 RI, and have a mission to as well. The sergeant is needed for this. Sweet dreams. And that is where we will end tonight. Like, follow, and subscribe. Please share with your friends. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Indeed. Wow, that had some highs and lows. All right. Uh, thank you guys for playing. Uh, Jazzy Cabbage, thank you for guest starring. Uh, the next time that we drop some into space, we will let you know. And if you're available, we'll continue this. If not, you might be asleep. <clears throat> uh, 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 any final announcements before I do this closing scrawl and such? I would like to announce that I'm about to get some cryo sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Last moment. Burgess, you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks to the Patreon patrons. Recurring stars Tim Roberts. Narrative NPCs, Mr. Daniel Holker. Thank you guys. Any event you want to jump on the Patreon, guess what? It's patreon.com slash dreadlore. Media production is by Couch Fire Media. Edia, edia. You can uh, find them in the links as well. It's www.couchfiremedia.com. That's correct, right? Music by all lowercase letters, Mr. Interrupt. Broadcasting, we do this on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. The podcast will go out in a couple different parts uh, throughout the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can find us on YouTube and such. If you do, you know what you should do? Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Follow, yep. Subscribe. Any of you want to check yeah. out Dreadlore and this wacky system that we're playing uh, and perhaps get a book, go to dreadlore.com or our link tree. That's where the, the goodness is. You can jump on the newsletter and all the good crap. There you go. There's also a getting started guide, which is free. Uh, the links are all exactly where I just said they were. Last bits. Thanks to our sponsor, Cascading uh, Waterfalls. And uh, everybody say bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. bye. We're going to be doing after hours in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. How much? 
What time is that? That's uh, uh, 44, 11.44 Eastern Standard Time? It's 11.45. No, 11.45. You want we will start up. Minute? We'll say <laughs> after hours. Uh, it's uh, the second podcast where we talk about games. We discuss this game and uh, different bits and pieces and what's going on, our projects and all that stuff. And I think tonight we'll probably go for like 20, 30 minutes. So if you'd like to jump on, stay on the stream. Tell us, hey, what's up and all that good stuff. Also, thank you, chat. Everybody say thanks to the chat. Thanks, thanks chat. chat. Thanks, thanks chat. chat. Yeah, we had uh, eight or nine people at one point, and I'm pretty sure that everybody actually um, participated. Thanks, Nostalgic, for keeping it rear and uh, dropping some channel points and making sure we're hydrated. Okay. So we'll see you in about... It, that's right. We'll see you in about uh, 10, 15. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank mm-hmm. you.